The idea of the telegarden was inspired by the internet itself. We were very excited about the idea of using it to actually control a robot. So why a garden? Well, we thought of a number of different possible applications, but to us, the garden was the most, in a way, absurd application. It was something that is very human, very immediate, and very tactile. So for us, that was an interesting contrast of old technology, namely agriculture, and the latest technology, namely the internet. There's a shot of us developing the garden. We got an industrial robot arm, and we combined that with a planter with 18 inches of soil. People can come in from anywhere over the world, and they can look around in the garden using the robot arm and a camera, but they can also go in and water the plants, and after they've made 50 moves in the garden, then another button pops up that allows them to plant a seed. In the past 10 years since the garden went online, we've had over 10,000 members who have registered and participated in the garden. Over 100,000 people have come in and looked around in the garden during that time. And one of the things that surprised us was how connected or attached people became to the seeds they planted in the garden. We see people sending email to their friends in the garden and saying, hey, can you water my plant while I'm gone? Or we have people becoming very protective of their plants and getting irritated when someone plants nearby them. Or we also see interactions between people, talking back and forth. Generally, they're talking about things like the weather, their kids, uh, their own gardens. So one of the things we like about this project is that it contrasts the acceleration that we often get from a technology. Usually we click on a site, we get something back immediately. But in a garden, you can't accelerate, you can't rush mother nature. The internet is not going to solve all of our world problems. In some ways it adds to them because it gives us so much information that we have less time to hang out with each other. And one of the subtexts of the uh, project is a reminder that maybe it's time to get off the internet and get out into the garden.